In this tutorial, we'll review how to install the Dexter OS operating system on an SD card. We'll use a process called flashing. For Dexter OS and other Raspberry Pi operating systems, you can't drag the files onto an SD card using, say, File Explorer. You have to put the Pi software on an SD card by flashing the downloaded zip file onto an SD card. So to start, you'll need an SD card that's 8 gigabytes or greater. And you'll also need a USB SD card adapter if your computer doesn't have one already built in. We're doing this tutorial on a PC and we'll have a similar video for installing using a Mac. We'll also need to download Etcher software and the latest version of Dexter OS. Let's talk a little bit about Etcher. As we mentioned before, Etcher is free software that allows you to flash software directly to an SD card. Etcher is available for the PC and the Mac, and it has a beautiful interface that's really easy to use. Before we go any further, download and install Etcher from etcher.io. There's a link at the bottom of this video, but you simply need to go to etcher.io, then select the type of computer you're using and download. The website will try to guess which computer you're using, but be sure to double check uh, which computer you're downloading for in case the website guessed wrong. Click download. So, after we've got Etcher downloaded and installed on our PC, we're going to download the latest version of Dexter OS software. You can do this from the Dexter OS landing page. That's dexterindustries.com backslash dexteros. There's a link right over here. Um, I'll also put the link below the video. You click on download Dexter OS here and it takes you to the installation page. You can see that it walks through the three basic steps that we're walking through here. But if you click on step one, download, it'll give you a link to download Dexter OS. And bingo. You're going to download about 1.5 gigabytes and depending on how fast your download speed is, that can take anywhere from five minutes, maybe up to 30. Okay, so here I've got a couple of things that we mentioned earlier that we'll need. I've got a USB uh, to SD card adapter. So this allows me to put it directly into my PC. Also I've got, more importantly, the eight gigabyte micro SD card. So this is a micro SD size. See it's eight gigabyte. You can go larger, but we need at least a minimum of eight gigabytes. Before I put this in the PC, I will try to put it into my adapter and you can see it fits in. It should fit in only one way um, and now it's in. I'm going to put this into a USB drive on my PC. Okay, we're almost ready to start uh, flashing our SD card. We'll pull up Etcher, uh, the software which we just previously installed. We've got three steps we're going to do. We're going to select the image, that's the zip file that we just downloaded of Dexter OS operating system. Um, then we're going to select the drive that we're going to burn it on. That's the SD card that we're going to uh, flash Dexter OS onto. And finally, we're just going to hit flash and the software will take care of the rest. So if I go to select image, I know that I actually put that into downloads Dexter OS when I took it down and I'm going to select the zip file that I downloaded. In this case, it's Dexter OS 1.2.0. Yours may be a later version, but I'm doing this December of 2017. You can see that Etcher will try to automatically select the device. You can click on change if it picks the wrong device, but you may see other USB drives, say if you have a USB storage device attached or any other SD card may show up here. Etcher should not select uh, your hard drive, but if you want to double check, you can see that the file in the, on the PC, the uh, drive letter is here. And also a good thing to do is to double check the size of the uh, SD card that you're burning to. I know I'm putting in an 8 gigabyte SD card, so see it's 7.95 gigabytes, and I'm pretty sure I've got the right one there. So I'll click continue. I know I've got the uh, the correct SD card selected. All I've got to do now is just hit flash, and we'll see. I'll get a warning from Windows just saying, Be sure you want to allow this app to make changes to your device, and I am sure. I like Etcher, it's great. Um, and we'll see it start. You'll see the orange starting and you'll see a little bit of action going on over here right by the uh, lightning bolt. And there we go, we're 0% into flashing. You see that you get an ETA, that's not always correct, but maybe it'll take about 10 minutes or so to put this on an SD card. And you'll see the rate at which 
data is going. Um, once it's done with flashing, we'll see another message. Still flashing, we're about 65% complete. And we're almost done flashing here. Boom, finishing. Oh, wait, we go into validating. So here, we're started to validate the SD card, and that's just the Etcher software going back over the SD card to make sure that all was written properly. Still validating, we're about 50% done. And we're done. See that Etcher has popped into the flash complete, uh, shows that we're done. And now we can go ahead and take the USB adapter out of the PC and take the SD card out of that USB adapter. All right, now that we've got our SD card written and we've got Dexter OS on it, we're gonna put it into a Raspberry Pi. I'm gonna show you first on just a open Raspberry Pi how to do this. I'll show you next how to do it with a GoPi Go. So we've got our SD card and on the bottom of the Raspberry Pi, you can see I've got an SD card slot right here that fits the micro SD card. I'm gonna push that in and I am going to feel its seat. I just give it a light push to make sure it's sitting all the way at the bottom. If I wanna pull it out, I just simply pull it out. And I'm gonna put it now into a GoPi Go. So you should actually put this into your Raspberry Pi during the assembly of your GoPi Go. But for some reason, you either want to switch out to a new version of Dexter OS, or you want to, uh, say, reburn a card, or you've already assembled your GoPi Go, then you'll just sort of use this method. I've got the, the batteries are off of the GoPi Go, and there's no power. What I'm going to do is simply look for that same slot, which sits, I don't know if you can see that right there, on the uh, underside of the GoPi Go, we can now see the same slot where the SD card goes. I'll go ahead and I'll just gently put it between two fingers and slide it in. It just seats, I push it in to make sure it's sitting. If you have big gorilla fingers like myself, a pair of tweezers are your best friend. Those allow you to sort of get in and take the SD card out and get out. But it's well protected in there because once we have the SD card into the GoPi Go, we don't want to take it out or put it in when the power is on. So now that I do have my SD card firmly seated in the Raspberry Pi, I'm gonna go ahead and flip it over and I'm going to attach batteries. I've got the Dexter Industries battery pack here. Put that in and neatly set that on the under the Velcro so that it straps into the GoPi Go and we'll try powering it on and let's see what that looks like. Remember this is with Dexter OS operating system. We'll see the green light starts to flash. That means we've got a good startup. I'm using a Raspberry Pi 3 here which has its own Wi-Fi built in. Um, if you have a Raspberry Pi 2 you need to use the Dexter Industries Wi-Fi dongle to see this properly start up. And what we're looking for is eventually the antenna on DEX will turn on if you're running Dexter OS. Great, it's turned green and I know I've successfully installed Dexter OS. Just for a bonus, let me go ahead and connect to that Wi-Fi network. So now Dexter OS will be putting up a Wi-Fi network called GoPi Go. And I just find that on my list of Wi-Fi networks. And once I connect, I should see the green LED turn to blue. And there we go, I'm connected to Dexter OS on my GoPi Go.